Do you know United Nations Air Force has a fleet of Boeing E-4B planes specially designed for possible doomsday survival? The things that comes in our mind from surviving a apocalypse will be either special nuclear bunkers or sailing in big ships in the ocean like we have seen in the 2012 Hollywood movie or simply by flying in an aeroplane until the disaster stops. These ideas has been implemented in our mind by the doomsday movies. The United Nations has some similar idea and because of that they maintain a fleet of Boeing E-4B doomsday planes. These planes are capable of operating with the crew up to 112 people, including flight and mission personnel. With in-flight aerial refueling, it is capable of remaining airborne for a considerable period, limited only by consumption of the engine's lubricants. In a test flight, for endurance, the aircraft remained airborne and fully operational for 35.4 hours. However, it was designed to remain airborne for a full week in the event of an emergency. E-4B plane is equipped with a CF6 50E2 engine and has nuclear electromagnetic pulse protection, nuclear and thermal effect shielding, advanced electronics, analog flight instruments, for less susceptibility of cyber attacks and a wide variety of communications equipment. These planes serve as a survival mobile command post for the National Command Authority, namely the President of the United States, the Secretary of Defense and successors. So when there comes a grave situation like nuclear threat, national emergency, apocalypse, or possible life risk of these high profile people, then this plane becomes active. Recently, Russia is reportedly working on two so called doomsday planes to carry the country's senior military and political leadership in case of a nuclear attack. Russian LL 96 400M plane is the modernized version of the LL 96 long haul wide-body civilian jetliner. An LL-96 variant currently operates as President Vladimir Putin's primary means of travel by air, similarly to that of the United States Air Force One. 